Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is uh, up 12. Nasdaq's down 47. S&Ps are off 6.5. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 11 to 12, <coughs> Eastern 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, the way you get the opening call, folks, come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go right into the newsletters. You're going to see the opening call right there. You just hit the opening call right there. You can, you can hit subscribe. Uh, you can get the opening call for one month, six months, a year. One month is $128. Six months is $595, which is a savings of $173 at 22%. A year is $995, which is a savings of $541, folks, or 35%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So you have everything to win, nothing to lose. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you doing over there? I'm doing good. Yourself? Good, thank you. Very interesting market. Yeah, we are looking at 26,844 in the Dow. And, I mean, we've been here for the past uh, week or so. I, I it's going to be Tommy, very interesting. No, totally. I told my son Tommy earlier, folks, okay, we're up, you know, we, we got two floors here. I said, I am so sick of this sideways market, man. That something's <laughs> got to fly. I am. <laughs> well, you know, this is really interesting that you say that because on the surface, it looks like nothing's happening. But just let me briefly go through this because we're always looking at the Chapman Wave methodology. I'll just grab this because it always clarifies what I'm looking for. Try to identify the lowest low bar, and then we count each successively higher peak at that fourth highest peak and I alphabetize them on the way up A, B, C, D. It can go higher, but D, the fourth highest peak is where other things can happen. And we're always looking for just three patterns, straight down or straight up, that's one, arch formation, that's two, and cup formation, that's three. Then you can get the combination where you come straight down, you have the arch, it looks like a lowercase h. If you take out that left side low, you can go lower, and the y, the, inver the reverse y, is if you take out the high, you can go higher. So that's really quite simple to the core of the Chapman Wave methodology. So here we are, Dow goes to a peak D at 27,306 on the 12th of uh, September, comes tumbling down to 25,743. Then it rallies, and if it wasn't for I IBM last Thursday, we would have got that leg D. We missed it by eight points. So I'm looking at this and I'm saying there's still residual strength. The MACD was still quite good and stochastic was actually way up at about 86, 87%. So I said there's some kind of strength here, but you had just mentioned, so in a way, if you're, just, if you're looking at indexes, if you're looking at certain aspects, it looks like nothing ha has happened, but boy, look at this. This is the, these are Dow stocks, Boeing. Look at this tumble from 391 down to 324. I mean, let's face it, that's a big move. You just mentioned M MA, and that's um, MasterCard. It's one of the top stocks in the, in the Dow for who knows how long. It's just been going for years, higher and higher and higher. It gets to a high on the, uh, this is right here, on the 9th of September. It goes to a leg D. That candle makes the all-time high and then reverses sharply down, and it tumbles from 293 down to, right now it's at 262. These are big moves. Uh, you've got McDonald's. You know, so I can go on. I just wanted to show sure. you that it's the averages, it's the aggregate that really is confusing people because they can hear all the bad news and then they can hear all the good news and then all of a sudden you get something that's up. Huge Procter & Gamble all of a sudden today is up 3.35, up 2.8%, and it's almost at the all-time high. So the issue that I've said for subscribers to my opening call is we, we start to raise cash, but we're also looking at certain stocks, certain sectors that are really very interesting and some are very good. You know, I've spoken about the XLF that I, I thought that the financials had probably, I'm talking about the banks, I'm talking about MasterCard, which is in the financials, or Berkshire Hathaway, I'm really talking about the banks. I think that the banks have done everything that they needed to do. Um, that the Fed needed for security just to get, you know, after the debacle of the uh, 2008 crisis. I think they've really got themselves together so that 
the earnings are a little bit better, a little bit more consistent, a little bit more away from the market. That'll improve, I think, even more if the if the if the stock market can get stronger over the coming months. But at this particular point, the XLF has done well, and we have a bank stock, Bank of America, which has really done very nicely. Um, and I think the way I'm looking at it is just purely technically. You can see that in the weekly chart of Bank of America at the 3117 high of May. Um, that pull back at peak D, it pulls back sharply to 27.12, rallies, just misses that previous high by 10, 10 cents, pulls back, breaks the 27.12 uh, low by less than a dollar, screams back up again, and now it's gone to a recovery high. And now look what's happened. The monthly chart, you've broken key resistance levels. So I think one at a time, if you're looking at certain aspects, some good things are happening. If you look at United Technologies, we were long for a while. We took profits, haven't got back in. It did make a peak D, pulls back. And all of a sudden today, you know, UTX trading up 3.35 at 101.72, getting closer and closer to the all-time high of 144, which is hit twice in September of 2018. It goes to 144.15. Plunges to 100, that's 44% decline. Screens back in five or six months and gets back to 144.40. It, it takes out the previous high by pennies and then pulls back sharply. And now it's trying to test that. So these patterns seem to be quite consistent. You see this beautiful, I talked to, I spoke about the cup formation. Look at this cup formation here. So I'm trying to be very selective for uh, subscribers. We've got some, I'm also trying to get much lower price stocks that are kind of under the radar right now because I think. Percentage-wise, they have a good, better chance of moving higher. They don't have to go that much higher, but just to give a nice percentage gain, that's the way I'm looking at it. So choppiness, and then all of a sudden, because the Dow did not make its peak D, you've got uh, a leg E in the in the S and P. You've got a leg E in the Qs. They did their Ds, and then they 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 pushed higher. But the Qs haven't, the index 100 hasn't taken out the high of uh, just a few days ago, and that was at four, uh, sorry, 194.50, and it's trading at 192.31 right now. Yeah, so that, this that's is gonna, this, it's going to be interesting what you're talking about with the Nasdaq too, because that's going to be up to you know Microsoft and Amazon the next couple of days, and we'll correct. see. They're selling off Microsoft today, but you know that has the, so, that has the power to take the Dow as well as the Nasdaq up there. Cor no correct, and look, look at this rect. I love to talk about rectangle formations because they can last a lot longer than your patience. And uh, Microsoft has been the, one of the the leaders, one of the one of the one of the crash stocks of the 2000 era comes back, re reinvents itself. Oh, yeah. Spectacular move announced in this rectangle, high level consolidation uh, between 141 and uh, 133. So we'll, you're right. It's going to be very important what happens next. But I think it's a rotational market. I think we're actually rotating on the upside and we're rotating some stocks on the downside. And even as I say in the Dow, I didn't even realize that MasterCard was down so sharply. And yet the Dow is up 31. I think I'm kind of impressed with the way the Dow is actually holding. That doesn't mean to say I have to break to new highs. I'm just saying it's holding well under these conditions. It should normally it's expect to see it down 130, 150 points at this stage with these major stocks down. So it's a mixed market. I think I'm for subscribers, we're trying to play it as a mixed market. We've got some picks that we, you know, remember I spoke about the grains. So we have a, an a ETN on the grains. It's holding very nicely. And some of the grains have acted very well. Folks, come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go right in the newsletters. You can see the opening call by man Basil Chapman. Just hit subscribe. Basil, you have a great night, safe night. And of course, we look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you, Tom. You too. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.